Hey, it's Coach LB. I'm back with another video. Uh, we can call this one Things to Do While You're Traveling Part 2. So I've been on vacation for about a week, and I mean, I've done things like hiking and snorkeling, and uh, it's been great. But, you know, you may not have those types of activities planned in your itinerary for when you're traveling. So I'm bringing you a couple more things that you can do in the comfort of your own hotel room with nothing more than using your suitcase and a towel. So let's get to it. This is actually called a suitcase deadlift with normal weights. You're gonna grab it with your preferred hand and stand up. The objective is to tighten up your core to not let the suitcase and the weight pull you to one side. This is a single arm deadlift. It's the exact same as a normal deadlift except you wanna try and keep the handle in the center of your body. So keep your body tight and even on the way up and down. This is a Romanian deadlift using a suitcase. So the goal is the same thing as a normal Romanian deadlift, keeping the weight close to your body and standing up straight. This is a modification of a Zercher squat. A Zercher squat, you're gonna keep the weight as close to your body as possible with the suitcase and just squat down like normally. So you're sitting towards your heel like you're trying to sit into a seat. Four press, exact same as a bench press, only your elbows will stop moving once they hit the floor and you go back up. Use the suitcase as you would with a bar. For the next few exercises, you're going to put a towel through the handle of your suitcase to use that to leverage the weight. This is an overhead tricep extension using the towel to leverage the weight of the suitcase. It's the exact same as if you were to use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Just lift the weight above your head directly and try and keep your elbows as pointed as forward as possible. This is a bicep curl using the suitcase as you would a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So the towel is to be able to lift the suitcase up like it was just a regular weight. For the next exercises, you're gonna need to roll your towel up tightly, just like this. This is a different way to do bicep curls using a towel. What you're gonna do is you're actively gonna pull the towel out while you're doing the bicep curl. This is gonna create tension within your own muscles and you'll feel the strain of trying to move in two directions at once. This is a lat pull down, the same as you would on a cable machine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out on the towel and keep the tension on there while you're pulling down. You'll feel that on the way down and the way up. It won't hit your shoulders as much, but it'll definitely hit your lats. And lastly, this is a straight arm lat pull down. Set your shoulders back, pull out on the towel, and then pull down. You'll feel this in the bottom part of your lats, like the same as you would with a cable machine. This exercise is a good morning. I wouldn't suggest this for beginners because the suitcase is extremely hard to balance properly, but a good morning is a hip hinge. So you're basically bending at the hips like you would with an RDL. Keep the weight firmly on your back. And for those of you who can't go a day without back squats, Here's a way to do it with a suitcase. It is still difficult to balance it on your back and actually get a good squat in, 
but this is a variation you can try. So I did film all that while I was on vacation. I'm back and I've been back for a few weeks. It's taken a little bit of extra time to get this edited to get out. I want you to understand that these exercises that I did in this video are a little bit more advanced than the last one. I will actually go through how to do these with regular weights in the future because I don't want there to be a disconnect on how to properly do these. These are modifications of exercises that normally you can perform with weights in the gym. Because they're modifications, they are a little bit different when it comes down to the actual execution. But like I said, when you're traveling, there are ways around not being able to do your favorite exercises, like squats. Everyone loves squats and you can do them regularly with air, but why not add a little weight? So I hope you enjoyed this. I tried to keep it shorter than the last one, but I also went over a lot less this time. And I'm also making sure that there's ways that you can just jump around to anything that you saw that you wanna try. Uh, I'll see you in the next video and uh, take care of yourself.